It's champion to like time and go for someone like Caitlyn because of her net and traps that will give you vision of Twitch and long range. Jinx because she too has long range that she can abuse Twitch with and Draven which will out damage him almost throughout the whole game provided he focuses Twitch as fast as possible. Misfortune is amazing versus immobile champions. Lucian if he abuses level 2 and Corky if he can hit his abilities even when Twitch is stealth are all viable counters too. Twitch's passive makes all his auto attacks infect his enemies with a poison that deals true damage for a few seconds. Twitch's Q makes him invisible, but will only work if no one walks within his short radius, otherwise he'll be visible. After he leaves stealth, he gets a short attack speed boost. Twitch's W makes him hurl a cast that will poison enemies that stand in it, and his E will deal damage to enemies currently poisoned within a big radius. His ultimate grants him attack range and makes his auto attacks pierce the enemies and hit the ones in the back too. This combined with Runans makes him a very strong team fighter, provided his positioning is correct, which might be his fatal weakness. As for spells, ADCs usually take heal, but you might also see him in the jungle, in which case he'll take smite. If you're an ADC, then you're gonna be taking heal too, but you could advise your support to take ignite since exhaust won't prevent his true damage. As for Twitch's power spikes, he has two early game power spikes but will mostly be able to shine past level 16 when team fights are occurring all over the map. His level 2 with his E allows him to deal damage after stacking up his poison, which he won't be accounting for, so be careful for that. Level 6 allows him to really 2v2 in the lane, so forget about running away behind your support. There's two kinds of builds Twitch's might build, but most will take runons for both team fighting potential and also farming. If he's aiming for 1v1 skirmishes by split pushing, then he'll go for Bork. Either way, it's a good idea to not fight him with his ultimate up. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, you can get in range of his invisibility to make him visible, but you can also buy pink wards to basically ruin one of his abilities completely and focus him down quick when team fights break out, because the damage becomes insane if he's just allowed 3 or 4 auto attacks. Ultimately, have fun doing it.